Hello and thank you for joining me in Motorsport Manager. I just picked this game up a couple of days ago. No, yesterday. Yesterday. We're not including when this video gets uploaded, which is probably tomorrow or the next day. So I've got it tomorrow or the next day. I got it yesterday, the day before, the day before that. Tomorrow, yesterday, before day. That kind of thing. Anyway, all I have done, I think this is a game that I might get quite addicted to. So I haven't started a career yet. I haven't started a career yet. I've done a couple of single races and that's that's all I want to do today. I just want to have a single race. A single race with you today. So Okay, select the circuit. Well I've really only done what have I done? I went to Sydney and then I went to Yokohama. No, that was just in my test my test recording. I did a test recording and I didn't really play the game, I was just, you know, checking audio levels and stuff. I don't know where the other one was. So let's go. We'll just go to Vancouver. Let's go to Canada, eh? Okay, so let's do a full race. Now this video is going to be a little bit longer than normal. Well, yeah, I don't know. I can't talk that much though. So, so the the race that I've done, I did a, a, a medium one. So, oh, should we just? This is for the first one. For the first one, it's still short. Still short. Dynamic means it can rain or not, so full race weekend. Which means we get a, a practice. It depends on depends on the, the tier that we chose. Okay, that we choose. So tier one is like F one. Then you got your you know Formula two, Formula three, or whatever they call it. I, I don't know. You get qualifying there. That's I'm not real sure. This one here. Well, we'll go to this one here just because it's just it's the lowest tier, but really cool thing about this is there's no qualifying uh, whoever's ranked the highest after practice or something like that and how the points are through the season I don't, I don't really know um, but you start so the, so the the fastest car the fastest person the person with the most points starts at the back of the grid and it's like a reverse grid so that's, that's pretty awesome so just for shits and giggles, I'm going to go with the fastest team, okay? I'm not going to win. That's, that's a very low percentage that I might actually win. Because remember, we start at the back of the grid. We start at the back. And it's me managing the team. This is the managing uh, management game. So I have to determine strategies, uh, when to pit, set the car up, and all sorts of stuff that will ensure that I lose badly or my team loses. I'm not the driver. I'm just telling them what to do. I'm telling them how to drive bad. Well, not drive badly, but I'm giving them bad strategies and bad setups and, and that, sort of th that, that sort of thing, that kind of thing. So yeah, but very, very, very interesting. So here we go. Practice in Vancouver. I get to pick my drivers. You can see there how skillful they are. The three stars and three and a bit. Oh, feedback. Three, okay. I don't really know what feedback is. There you go. Does it tell you? I think feedback is... I don't know. I can't be bothered to read it. So, <laughs> so this is a car setup. So they've got no... So driver one, driver two, they've got no feedback to me about how the car's performing. So I think we're just gonna we're just gonna jump in and we'll, we'll take the practice. We'll take the practice. Right, so driver number one, Bocamp. Driver number two, Jar. Cool. Hopefully I can remember them. So we're gonna send out Bocamp. We're not gonna do anything, so this is where we can adjust uh, very different things on the car. And as I adjust that, these things change. The downforce, the handling, the speed balance. But, and over here, the feedback. The driver will tell us, will tell me, uh, what they're feeling the cars, how the car's handling for them. Handling being one of the brackets. <laughs> so, as I send them out, choose the tyre, ultra soft, Super soft, intermediates and wets. 
So we just send him out on the ultra soft. I mean, that should be the, the faster tyre. It might degrade a little bit more than normal. Alright, so bike camp's out on his lap. So we're going to click over here on Jar. And if you're watching this and you've got no idea and you're looking at a tiny small screen, I know, I've watched a couple of this, a couple of races on YouTube before. I thought, yeah, this is a game I could get into. Um, if you really, really sit forward and look close at the screen, maybe on their glasses, I don't know. And you can see all the little intricate details that if you're just sitting back, you know, working, studying, having a giggle or two. Wow, okay. This one here. Now, yeah, because where, where the green bars are is where your mechanics or engineers say you should be. So that yellow marker should be somewhere in there from the engineer's point of view, which is not always true because uh, you want your driver to be happy. So I'm just going to leave it there. Uh, mate, oh, should I? Yeah, I'll just leave it there. I'll just leave it there. I'll send him out on a quick stint. So what we're going to do now, so he's going out, so we can flick to our other driver. There he is. So he's on his outlap, so he's not going to record the time here. So waiting for him to get on his outlap. No, not his outlap, he's on his outlap. We want him to do his practice lap. It's not a qualifying lap, or his hot lap. Well, maybe you still call it a hot lap in a qualifier. No, qualify you call it a hot lap. I'm just rambling. And I said I couldn't talk much. <laughs> okay, so he started his lap now. He's on his lap now. Get out of his way, dudes. Get out. See, now that you've slowed him down on his lap. Jeez. Jesus. Perfect gear ratio. Okay, that's coming in. Radio team from Bowcamp, so that's good. Really happy with the gear, gear ratios. Excellent. That's coming in from Jar. And I'm just impressed that I can see this on my screen right now. Because I've got this, I play this on a, on a big screen. Uh, but it's like meters away from me. And, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty sure I need glasses. <laughs> So, okay, so he's going, he's going, so we can flick to our other driver here. There he is back there. And he's doing really well. He's doing really well. He's coming in first, currently. Bokemp, set, set a lap. Bokemp, habs, 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 habs. Bokemp, set a lap, and he is fast. Dest. <laughs> he's fast and furious. So, you can see Bokemp. Well, like, like I said, we did pick the fastest team. It's got the best drivers, blah, blah, blah. If he qualifies or if he practices first, fastest time first, he'll start at the back of the grid. Oh, and Jar has gone up. Right up there into second. So, I think, yeah, these guys are the quickest out here. So, once they come in and adjust their cars a little bit, they'll really fuck them up. So, they'll come around. Because he's going to pull into the pit. I can't scroll anymore. That's as far as I can scroll. I can scroll out. That's as far as I can scroll. In. Okay, so I might pause this. I'll pause it. So I might be a little loud right now. So I'm going to go to send out. And this is where we get to adjust his car. And he's going to tell us how happy he is. Poor. Poor. Great. Okay. <laughs> One great is good. So, downforce and handling is poor. So, and keeping in mind, this is one thing I learned from the last time I played this. I always thought you want to keep it in the green, but you don't necessarily need to keep it in the green. The green is, like it says right there, mechanics recommendation. That's the first time I've actually seen that written there. But I, I would trust the mechanics more than I distrust them. So we probably want to bring the downforce further down that way. So these two, the front wing and the rear wing, will increase or decrease. We actually want to increase. We want more downforce. We want higher downforce, apparently. But as you see, we as we do that, that doesn't does affect handling and speed balance. 
but we're really poor. So let's. Wow. Okay, we've got a long way with it. I don't, I'm not comfortable going that far with it. Okay. So. Okay, we're gonna put it. Okay, that's that's about right. Okay, we don't want to go too far. We want to keep them sort sort of sort of in lieu of each other. But I mean, that was poor. I mean, it's gonna go like awful, and he's gonna skid off and probably crash if we went completely the wrong way. But I'm sure we didn't. I'm sure we didn't. So handling, handling was poor. So now, this is why I don't really get you. I still have to decide, you know, which way of this green bar do I want to go. If it's poor, I'm thinking the green bar is bigger this way than that way. So it's probably more, probably more to the left here. So, so handling, uh, yeah, shock's definitely, okay, this, this could be good. So, let, let's chuck that down that way. It might be a little bit too far because I don't want to disbalance this too much, and I know I can correct that easily like that. So there we go. So speed balance was great. It's not excellent. You can, you can get an excellent on that. So okay. So that looks good. Tire choice. I'm going to send him out on the same tires. Uh, yeah, during the race. Yeah, I mean you don't you only have to change tires a couple of times, maybe three, but. They're not that worn, so I'm happy with that, rather than not waste other tyres. As I said, maybe I could, because you don't use all the tyres. Yeah, fuck it, let's, let's choose another tyre, so. Okay, so, we want to change those two to, to good, or excellent, or great, or definitely not worse than poor. Which, which is probably going to happen, so. Okay. So he's sent out. Let's push, push in the mic play. So he's getting changed, you can see over here set up. He's getting changed there. Well, we don't have a lot of time, we only got six minutes. To get this going on again. I'm waiting for this car to come in so we can have a look at this car. Okay, so we're gonna have a look at this setup real quick. Real quick. Be good, 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 good. Poor. Oh, very poor. Excellent, so speed balance. Excellent, excellent. So very poor. See, very poor. Where do we go? Do we go up or down? The other driver, I'm pretty sure I went down. So we will take that down. We'll take handling. We want understeer more than oversteer. Just in, just in our opinion. Now the, the mechanics are saying we need to be in that range. So that's. Let's try and trust them a little bit. Um, okay, not exactly like my formula that said before, but I don't want to overbalance stuff too much. So now we want to get our speed balance back right in range of there, because that was excellent. You can't get higher than excellent. So, all right, let's let's send them out. See how these boys do. And as I say that. There are a lot of girls, girl races, and and, and uh, staff members and stuff like that. So this is going to be a long episode. So buck up, boys and girls. I don't know how I'm going to go talking all this time. What, did I, I hope I chose a short race. God dang it! <laughs> no, it's off goes Jar on his outlap, and we're coming first and second anyway. So. Even if we make these cars worse, we're still a minute ahead. Well, not a minute. I wish we were a minute ahead, a second ahead. All right, so let's go back to Bo Camp. Here's your gun driver. How's his sectors looking? He's still on his outlap. As as that must the game must pause, obviously, while we're in the setup. Okay, here he goes. Here's his lap. Come on, Bo Camp. It's good, he's got some clean air out there, looks good, so clean air, there's there's no one directly in front of him, he's... The arrow is feeling much nice now, good to know Bo Camp, put in a good time for us buddy. And he's not actually doing better than he did last time, <laughs> you can see, because he's a, he's a pole sitter at this point in time. The arrow set up his way better. Last nice one, okay, thank you Jar. That's that's good to know. 
but we're coming up to the second sector time here for Bow Camp. He was slightly outside of his previous best. But the different sectors can mean very different things. So he didn't do as good. I was surprised how quickly he finished then. Got the handling's much better for Bow Camp. I, I didn't see the intricates there. Did uh, Jar make a battle up there? The handling's much better, so okay. So we've got a couple of good things there, but I don't think. Oh, well, Jar might have gone quicker then, but I don't think Bow Camp did. I'm not exactly sure. So. We're not going to have enough time anyway to do another, another lap. Yeah, definitely not. Because you have to get him out, make him pass the line, the start, go, start finish line, and then go. So that's all the practice for us. So this little button here, I can fast move forward. Okay, so he's got the right arrow set up, so he's happy with that. So that's, that's good. Okay, so both our drivers are in the pit, waiting for 14 cars to finish. Come on, Mr. McCars, I could probably fast through this. Why, why did I stop that? Nine cars. Come on, Mr. Nine cars. So, I mean, we're looking good. We're still one and two, so. Well, which means we're probably going to start. How many cars are there? 19 and 20. Which makes it interesting. That's, that's why I wanted to choose the faster the faster team. Just, just for this intro to this game. Okay, there we go. Wow, that was, that's pretty significant. That's we were one thirty five. Nearest rival was one thirty six. So that that's pretty good. How how bad were they? One one forty. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Okay, so here we're at the race. So hopefully, if I'm if I'm right, we should be starting at the back. If I'm wrong, well then we won't be. So that's probably not too bad either. So you know. Okay, so these are perk slots or something. So you can pick perks for the race. Ultra soft rim trace. 5% performance increase. 5% performance increase if you use ultra soft tyres. Light footed hard tyres. Hard tyres wear more slowly. Again, it's a tyre perk. Risk taker. Fast pit stops now have minus 15 to take. 15% mistake. Now that's that's quite a good one because when you go in you can have a neutral or fast pit stop or a, a slow one. I've never really even looked at a slow one. But there's more percentage chance. There's more of a percentage of a chance. A chance of a percentage that something will go wrong and and that can really bite you in the butt cheek. So I'm going to go for race trim because you've got 5% performance. Nothing else is banking on anything. Ooh. I, I don't even know if I'm going to use hard tyres. So, there's driver one. We have to remember driver one, we can take the risk of doing a fast, doing a fast pit stop. Okay, so. Pit stop guru. Okay. So again, I don't know what tires we're going to use, so we're going to go race trim, 5% performance. Pit stop. They can change in 50%, is, is it 50%? Well, and that's, that's not even without me cha changing and having a risk of a percentage. So that sounds pretty good to me. So, who's our driver number one? Bocamp. Bocamp is a risk taker. I can set him on fast for a pit stop. And I don't have to change anything on the other side. Okay, so great, good. Set. Oh, see, this is the difference here. Oh, there's still one okay. Um, 
So remember that was, oh, I can't remember what they were, but they definitely weren't looking like that. And that looks good. We've got a great, great and a good, so to change that around. Remember, you can get an excellent like this little Peabody down here. So the handling, and it tells you here, it was 65%, 84%. So from from there, I'm gonna go. So okay, this this confuses me. So that's where we are now on the 84% one. That's that's what we currently got set up. If I go over here, handling was way over there. Okay, so we want to bring the handling more to the left without changing too much of the other stuff. So downforce was way over there okay way way over there so downforce can probably go even more to the left anyway but we don't want to change where that is because that's excelente so we want to take handling and probably chuck it more to the left over here without changing too much else Okay, now we, we interrupted the speed balance too much. So if we can bring that bring that back in line, it doesn't work there, does it? Okay, so that's gonna be slightly better. We've increased that a little bit. That's the same, down feels the same, speed balance is the same. Okay. Yep, okay, good on you. Okay, so fuel will only last six laps. We have to refuel in this. So that's what reset. That's scary. That's a scary. That's a scary picture right there. But okay, so now you can have strategies here. So you got tire wear, one normal attack, push normal, conserve and, and blah blah blah. And then you've also got a petrol uh, or engine mod. How much petrol it's using? So we're, we're just going to keep them on normal at start. My argument is maybe we should just push it and start and turn it back out the first few corners. But hey. Let's just see how it goes. Okay, so this is this is the starting grid, obviously. So let's go. We should be. Jar. Where's Bocamp? I don't understand that why why jars too. Okay, I don't understand that at all. Don't understand that at all. Okay. Let's see what happens. So maybe my theory or what I was told isn't exactly true. Is that, you know, well, Whatever the number drive you are, I guess if this is just a quick fire match for the start of the season actually, who, who, who'd got knows? Okay, so we've got Jar shooting in second. He's sitting in second. Bocamp. Bocamp, who was the number one gun driver. Oh, he's up in 18th. Okay. So if you look down here, we're looking at Bocamp. Let's go look at Jar, who's in second here. He's got 5.24 laps before he has to refuel. And you see this purpley pinky thing? That is his tyre wear. And then he got brake temperature. Or it was that tyre temperature. Must be tyre temperature because I don't think there's no such thing about brake temperature. Either. Okay, come on, Joe. Low camp's moving up again. Now I've got time to stir the back of Shady's car. Okay, so he might be getting a little bit pissy because... He shouldn't be pissy. It's crazy. Bokem. You're doing good, Bokem. I mean, keep it up. That was pretty tall going through that time. Hey, my dust. <laughs> good, good, keep going. Yellow flag, yellow flag, yellow flag, yellow flag. Okay. So we're going to flick these down. No one can pass each other on the yellow flag. Check that, there's no rain coming. Are we not on the yellow flag? No, we're back on a green flag. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Kick shit back up. 
Should we have done you first because you're running up the highs? So how's Blake, uh, not Blake, how's Jar doing? Jar, Jar's still, st he's, he's hanging in there good. Okay, that's good. We've got lots of tyre wear left. This is the thing, that when I played played this game previously, I did a, a one in this league and then I did, did one in the, the top league, which is like Formula 1. And so this one, you have to actually refuel when you come in. Where the Formula 1 or, or the Premier League or whatever it's called, uh, you, you, you can't refuel. You just have to use your fuel from the get-go. And that's what really confused me actually when I played this. Do you actually use like... Uh, actual rule off rules and, and stuff like that. When I was thinking, okay, you go to T1, Formula 1 or whatever it's called in this game. And you have to use two different sets of tyres. So I did that, but apparently you don't have to do that and that really cost me big time. But okay, so he's, he's still going right, so we can get standings here, we can do that and get some more information. We can check the gap times. Uh, oh, you can, you can see their strategy. I didn't know that. Okay, so. Jarzak's doing pretty good up there. He, he's bow camp. Oh, he's not too far back. He's not too far back. So he's only got 2.5 laps. Okay, so we're going to have to make a pit stop pretty soon. Pop him up some more fuel. Uh, Ty wear. He's looking good so far, so tyre wear is not an issue. Not compared to how much petrol you're using. Oh, I didn't see it, but he has moved into first. Well done, Jar. Well done. Because he's got one point. Okay, they've both got very little laps to go so he's in first I'm gonna protect him now he should be the first one to come in actually so how many laps we got to go we've got too many laps so I'm gonna bring this guy in for pit first so I'm gonna bring him to pit he can do that fuel options we're just gonna so it tells you you got 1.27 laps so uh, Okay, well, I was clicking the wrong spot. We've got to click there, so it's going to give him an extra six laps. So these are the parts in the car. Oh, that's getting pretty low. Oh, I've never actually really fixed these during a race. Okay, I might do that because it's getting extremely low. Okay, so that tells you how long it's going to take to pit. 49%. We're not even halfway through the race, are we? Lap five, wow. Okay. It's gonna be a long pit stop, but we won't have to fix them again. This is the first time I've never well I've my car's that far, but within like two or three laps to the end, so forty eight seconds, that's that's an atrocious amount of time. So he's gonna go into pit. So after after a man jar in first place, he's kicking ass right now. He's way on front. So he's going to take a pit stop after this lap. So I don't know if we've passed the pit stop yet. I'm pretty sure we have. So we're going to bring him into pit next. So 6 of 13. Wow. I might chuck him on to Super Soft, just so he's got a couple of extra laps there. We don't have to worry about. Don't have to worry about. Oh, I didn't think of the fast thing on the other guy, did I? Dang it. Alright, maybe I, I could do that if it's not too late already. Okay. He's already in the pits. Dang it, I wasted my strategy. Come on, get him going. Get him going. Oh, they're fixing these parts, aren't they? 
I didn't want anything to fail. I could just left it go and let it ride just to fail. God damn, get him on track. Jesus. So you just coming out. Now you're not far away from going in. Because I didn't want to stack the cards, so you always do you know one lap after the other, but Crikey. Oh, Jar, it's all up to you, man, because I really stuffed up the other one. Oh, come on. Get it going. Get going, come on. No, 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 come on, go, 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 go. Yes, we're back in first. That's the way. That's the way. That's the way. I like it. Okay, so. We've got five laps left. Oh, so he has got enough petrol to go to the end of the race. He's definitely got the tyres too. Because it shows you how the tyres So He does not have to stop again. And unless he has acted then so. Hopefully. Well, that does make sense. Lap 7, 8, 9, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, that's 5. That's seven laps. I, you have to pit again. What sucks? That sucks, the donkey balls. Is that correct, Mass, or not? We're on lap eight now. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's six laps. He has to pit again for fuel. So fuck this. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Let's let's wear the fuckers out. We're going for it. So. You might as well do the same because you're going to have to pit again too. And you're going to have to pit before him. That's right. Come on, Bo Camp. Get your ass in the gear. Get going, suck it. Let's look at our difference here. So we're. So you can see the gap there, 6.5. Nine point. Wow, that, that's a good. That's a good. And Bo Camp here is four point four above his coming behind him, but one forty four. No, seven, seven. I'm getting confused, Ed. So he's only he's, he's only he is a mile behind, seven seconds behind. He's so I, I don't understand how this works. It's sort of. From the whole, you know, roster slap thing in practice. Bo Camp chucks in the fastest lap again. He was my fastest driver. So we might walk away with a win here, maybe, but he has to pit again. He's going to have to pit again. I'll have to keep watching those pit fuel Maguli. So, no, I. 10, 11, 12, 13, so that's four laps, so. Right, Bo Camp. Right, I am going to flick both the back there. Okay, on, on tyre wear, tyre wear, no, you don't have to on tyre wear, but on petrol. Yeah, we're going to get there. Okay, so I'm just going to. Looking back. Okay. Alright, so you can pit. I'm gonna chuck you back on these fellas. Fuel and McDougalies. Three laps for mining. We've got fuel for 1.91. So we're gonna add that up past three. So he should be good. And this is Jar. So we're not going to risk anything there. We come over to our other driver. We're going to say he's up into seventh. What the frickity dick! So fuel ups in three laps. You've only got fuel for one lap. So we're going to give it a little bit extra just so we don't run out. Okay, your parts. Yeah, that's looking all right. Well, it is now because we did stuff. Uh, and we're going to flick that fast because you got the the bonus to not stuff up. We're getting up on the 
Moscow. Oh, he's coming in here first. He's coming in. Jar's pitting in first place. He's going to get out in first place. It's looking, it's looking really good. It's looking really good. It's looking really, really good. And he's got enough petrol, so it's looking really, really good. Okay. So we're going to flick back to Bo Camp in seventh place. He's going to come in and pit, of course. Hopefully other people in front of me, everyone else has already done two, okay, so that's that's why he, he climbed up so quickly, there's other people pitting in front of him, I did not see that, I didn't see that. Hey, come on Bo Camp, get on it. So four laps, you've got fuel for 4.8 and you've got tyres for day, so I'm going to put you attack on tyre where and uh, probably on there too. I reckon we can. Yeah, I reckon we can do that. Uh, okay. You make as many places up as you can, Boken. I'm gonna check on Jar. As the time is going, Jar is 14 seconds ahead. No need to worry, Jar. You're cruising the home. You are cruising the home. got this in the bag if he doesn't fuck up. Can't believe I didn't fuck up. Yeah, that's normally what happens. So, okay, bow camp, where's your nearest? Three seconds, three seconds. Alright, so, uh, fuel burn. Gun up, baby. Yeah, might as well just go for the shit. He said his gear change is a bit glitchy. I was looking over there somewhere, so... Uh, we're on the last lap now. That all happened really, really quick. I was... It might look boring to you, but I'm focus and focus and focus on everything I'm doing. All of a sudden it was lap 10, now it's lap 13. It's like, where the hell did all that time go? I really don't know. Here we go, Jar. Jar has got a fantastic lead, 16 seconds. Blowing him out of the water. He's going to come home for the victory. I really didn't expect this. I thought I'd come like, like mid midfield. Like, like where Bocamp is, but maybe a little bit higher. I'm a bit disappointed where Bocamp is. He was my fastest driver during practice, so. Looks like we're going to be on the podium. We're going to win. There we go. For the win. Well done, Jar. Excellent job. I'm sorry, Bokem. I, I just, you started too far back, I guess. I, I, I don't know. I don't think I made any mistakes with you. Apart from not doing the, the quick pit thing, but. There you have it, folks. There's our first. Motorsport manager game. Okay. Oh, oh, sorry, buddy. I missed what you said on the thing there. I missed what you said on the, the team radio. This is an awesome game. Look, if I go into, see, into season mode, I'm not just going to be completely addicted to it. It's awesome. While waiting for the other cars, there's a 2D mode where you just see over top like this. And that's pretty cool too, but... The only, uh, say, you should do that mode if your graphics card can't take the 3D. That's a pretty cool overview of stuff, so. There we go, winner is Jar. I know I'm not in 3D mode, so. Guess I screwed that up too. <laughs> I'm good at screwing things up. If you haven't noticed. So there we go, it tells you here, six laps, we pitted on the softs. And then four laps on soft and three, so. So five, five and three, so yeah. Well, I wasn't expecting that. What, what does that mean? What is that? Driver gained two extra points for a driver in the fastest lap. Oh, you got the fastest lap of the race. 
Well done, Bo Camp. Well done, Bo Camp. So we picked up a first, a gold trophy. That's a first for me. Hey, like I said, I've only had two races before, and then third mock-up race just for audio levels, which I didn't finish. I was not taken seriously. Even though I started first and second, that's because I picked the best team and I didn't simulate, well, I simulated everything until the race and then I tested audios. But there you go, this is Motorsport Manager. Do you want to see this again? Let me know if you do. I think it's pretty cool. It's probably pretty, 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 pretty boring to watch, but I have fun. Thanks for joining me, till next time. Peace out.